Right, Killing Eve star Jodie Comer has faced a backlash online after posting loved-up pictures with her rumoured boyfriend, James Burke. Now, the criticism is nothing to do with the pictures themselves, but down to her choice of partner. Apparently, the American lacrosse player is a supporter of American President Donald Trump and the Republican Party. Now, as a result, she's become the latest in a long line of celebrities facing calls from social, social media bullies to be <coughs> so-called cancel cancelled mm. what does it i've seen this about on social media and i just thought it meant people are always cancelling dates and stuff but apparently that's not that's not the case what is it no it's been happening for i would say about a couple of years now the, ca the whole cancel culture is when especially someone who is quite known or influencer or somebody who is a celebrity um you know or sports person it's about people online campaigning to almost like to cancel their career or to boycott um people from supporting anything that they do. So it's a real... I think the presence is more on social media. And it, it yeah. could... It start off with maybe a video or something someone has said, and then there's people that will then share it, pages that will share it, and then they will say, no, we should cancel this person. Don't buy into them no more. Don't watch them. You know, you don't put any money or invest into anything they do, whether that's Judy. acting, you know, whatever it is. Judy, yeah. where, does it, where does it come from? I mean, is it just, is it people just wanting to tear other people down or is there some kind of message behind it? I, I don't quite understand. I think there is, obviously we know that there's people online that sometimes they haven't got anything else better to do, but there is <laughs> people <laughs> as well who there's been people that has been cancelled and it's because things that they've done to people and it's come out in the open. So I think it comes from some people having that, area where they feel that they can be empowered and that they can empower other people to speak out and then they can, you know, withdraw that person from society, from whatever status is they're that... in. It's about taking them down from that so, status. Jane, just... do you think this is just like extreme <sighs> trolls? What is this? Yeah, I just... I, I have a real problem with it because, you know, sunlight is the best disinfectant and it's like, let's have the debate. Mm. So there are mm. all sorts of people in the world that hold, hold different views to, you know, everybody else. And it, it's funny you say there that if they've done something... Now, say, for example, they've been convicted of paedophilia or they're mm. a serial killer, then maybe there's an argument to yeah. just kind of wipe them off mm -hmm. your, you know, radar. But just because they have a different opinion to somebody... And I have a real problem because I sometimes think... And I think the mainstream media are part of the problem, you know, and I, I work for the mainstream media and we are the mainstream media mm. on this show. Mm. And when we talk about three people on Twitter saying, you know, trolling somebody because of something that their boyfriend reportedly... Yeah, so I think he's a... I think he's yeah. a paid-up member of the Republican Party, but there's a lot of Republicans who don't like Donald Trump. Mm. So there's a lot of dots being joined up here. Um, and I just think, you know, when we talk about it, we kind of give validity mm -hmm. to, to that. And I, I have a real issue with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but is it, the way you explained it, Judy, it seems to be such a broad, broad umbrella term. Very. And if we're talking about basically gossip, about somebody's going out with somebody that you don't like who might have an opinion that you don't... I mean, mm -hmm. that seems to me to be just ridiculous, tittle-tattle, destructive and of no value. However... We are going through a time that lots of very uh, conventional views are being challenged, you know, whether it is about Black Lives Matter, whether it's about the trans community or whatever. And, you know, maybe we need to hear that voice, even if we oldies don't like it sometimes. But isn't it that's the difference between challenging? I think you're yeah. absolutely mm. right. People yeah. do have to challenge, mm. but cancelling is not challenging. No. Counselling is a Challenge is a much better word. Yeah, yeah, I think, you know... The challenge have, culture. Have good. the debate. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Exactly, cos cancel just sounds like good old-fashioned bullying. You know, at school when you'd walk into a room and, like, nobody would speak. It's, it's kind of that. But what about the actual story with Jodie as well, that, that to, to, to judge somebody on their partner? Has anyone ever been guilty of that? <laughs> 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 the hand goes up. I was waiting for that, Gay. 
Can you ever be accused <laughs> of being judgy? <laughs> yeah, but be honest. Come on, we yeah, all do it. Do. I mean, if you, like, say a friend has got a new partner and you all meet up uh, in a social occasion, of course you're eyeing them up the whole time. You're thinking, you know, is he, she good enough for him, her? You know, ooh, why have they chosen him? Oh, I didn't like that. We do that in our head. Mm. I mean, and anyone who doesn't, the only person I know in my life who never did that was my dad. Mm. If you ever went down that conversation, you'd be, no, no, don't talk about that. She's got a lovely smile, that lassie. Just shut up. <laughs> That's what he would say. She's got um, a good heart. <laughs> he was nicer than me, my dad. <laughs> um, so you judge in your head, mm. but you've got to keep it in your head, haven't you? Because once you start to let that out, then it can get very dangerous. I you mean, do let it out, too. You know. it, well, it's funny, isn't it? I was just thinking then when I was listening to Kay talking about the dreaded B word, Brexit, mm. and how many people, not even actually just relationships with partners, but how many long-term friendships yeah. ended because some people suddenly discovered that their long, you know, their close friend had a view about mm. Brexit that they didn't share. Mm -hmm. And I always found that really astonishing. I mean, I'm mm. a bit like Kay's dad. I always think if I meet somebody and they sort of jar a bit, if I ultimately think they've got a good heart just because they have opinions that are different to mine. I'm, I'm fine with that. Mm. I mean, it's a miracle, an absolute miracle I'm friends with Carol McGiffin. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Carol, I love you.